Hey everyone, welcome to another Mining Chamber video. In today's video, we will be covering five tips to optimize your Windows 10 for mining. We will also be selecting our four giveaway winners for the Bitcoin keycap from our last video. And we want to thank you guys again for reaching us a thousand subscribers. So for this video, we are giving away $50. It will be for two lucky winners. So each winner will get $25 in Ethereum. So please leave your Ethereum address in the comment section below and then we will select the winners in our next video. So thank you guys for watching this video and we hope you enjoy it. So most of the beginner and intermediate miners use Windows 10 because it is easier to get started with it if you are new to cryptocurrency mining or if you have a small amount of mining rigs. But when it comes to a large number of miners, then a Linux based miner will be a lot more efficient. For this guide, we will be using the RX 580 mining rig that we recently built. If you haven't watched this video yet, then we will leave the link for it in the descriptions below so you can feel free to check it out. So now let's get started with our top 5 tips to optimize your Windows 10 for mining. So our first tip is to make sure that you have the latest drivers and updates on your mining rig. So once you install your Windows 10, make sure to update it to the latest version right away so you can get all the recent security patches. And then we will disable the updates afterwards so it does not randomly go into updating while your miner is online. You also want to make sure you have the latest and most recommended drivers for your GPU so you can have the optimal performance and less bugs. In our RX 580 build, we mentioned that we are using the 19.1.12 since we did not find the compute mode option in the latest drivers. But thankfully, the community pointed out where the option is, so I recommend installing the newer drivers like we did as well for our RX 580 mining rig. After installing all the updates, we will now clean up the services in the system, which takes us to our second tip, and it is to cut down as many background services as possible. You can do this when you first install Windows 10 on your mining rig. You will notice that it will walk you through some personalization settings. So just disable them all and also try not to sign in or make an account with Microsoft. Just use the mining rig offline without any accounts and you can also leave the password blank by just hitting enter on the password screen. Like that every time your mining rig turns off because of uncontrolled conditions, when you turn it back on, it will be mining right away, which we will go over more in one of our other tips. If you missed the chance to disable these settings when you initially installed Windows, then you can instead do them from your computer settings. After checking all the additional services off, we will run the Windows 10 tweaker script for mining and what it does that it will turn off more services for you including Windows Auto Update, OneDrive and the generic Windows applications. We recommend doing these steps after installing all your updates to just to avoid the chances of any settings resetting so then you don't have to go back and do them again. Our third tip is going to help you keep your mining rig more stable. So the first thing you want to do is you want to set your mining rig in performance mode, which will get rid of all the fancy animations and make your Windows 10 snappy. And after putting it into performance mode, turn off the screensaver and sleep mode, and then click on additional power settings and select high performance mode. After selecting high performance mode, click on change plan settings and make sure that it's still on never for sleep mode and screensaver mode and then click on change advanced power settings. In the advanced power settings, if you are using a Wi-Fi dongle, then disable the USB selective suspend setting and set the wireless adapter to best performance, so you can avoid any unnecessary Wi-Fi issues. And then make sure that the PCIe Express Link state power management is turned off as well. Our fourth tip is to change your virtual memory to the proper amount for how many GPUs you have running. If you don't do this step, then you will most likely get the cannot create DAG file error. The DAG file requires enough room in your virtual memory so you are able to mine. So to fix this issue, you will need to visit your virtual memory settings and set a custom paging size. 
A good rule of thumb is to do 2500 megabyte per GPU for the initial size and then for the maximum size just double it. So if you have 6 GPUs then your initial size will be 15,000 megabytes and then your maximum size will be 30,000. Now you can go ahead and restart the mining rig if the system asks you to do so and then try to run the miner again. You will most likely not get the error again, but if you do, then just keep adding 2000 megabytes to your virtual memory maximum size until you don't see that DAG file error again. Our final tip to optimize your Windows 10 for cryptocurrency mining is to set up your mining bat file in your startup applications so that when your mining rig turns on, it will automatically start mining right away. To do that, you will need to create a shortcut of your startup bat file or whichever mining file you are using and then place that shortcut on your desktop or keep it in the original folder. Next, open the run window by either typing run in your Cortana search or hitting your window and R key together and then type in shell startup. Drag your miner bat file in the startup folder and then you are good to go. An additional tip you can do with this is to set up your BIOS settings to turn on your mining rig as soon as it receives power, which means if you get a power surge or your mining rig shuts down unexpectedly, it will turn on by itself and start mining right away and you need to make sure that you have no password on it for it to log in by itself and also turn on the miner. This option can be found in the BIOS and if you need any further help with it, you can get in touch with us on Discord and we will be able to help you out. Now after following these tips, you should have a more stable mining rig. There is still a lot more into it to make an efficient miner, but that will be covered in another video. Alright everyone, so now for the giveaway, we will take everyone's name and put it in this wheel of names and then we'll randomly pick 4 winners. So we want to thank you guys for all the nice comments and even for those who didn't join the giveaway, thank you very much for supporting us. Since we only had 5 people that joined the giveaway, we are deciding to give all 5 of you a free keycap. So thank you guys very much for supporting us and please get in touch with us on Instagram or Discord and give us your address and make sure you send us a screenshot of your YouTube account so we can confirm that it's you and then we will send you out the keycap. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to add your Ethereum address to be part of the giveaway. We will announce the winners in our next video and then we will also give another $50 in our next video. So stay tuned for that. We hope you guys have a wonderful day and take care.